Hey guys, and welcome to City Dreams, a brand new series that I'm starting featuring my sim here, Celine Jolie Martinelli. So she's recently moved into this apartment in San Myshuno over from Strangerville where she was born and raised by a single mom in a small trailer park. Sadly, however, her mom passed away a few months ago, and now we're here with Celine on her healing journey, as well as trying to figure out her career path, what her passions are, make new friends, find love, essentially starting a whole new life from the one she left behind. So now let's get into the gameplay. So I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little nervy and I'm definitely rusty because it's been a minute since I have done any sort of let's play of the story. I think it's been like seven, eight months or something like that. It's been a while, but I wanted to give you guys a little look at the apartment. I do love living in apartments in San Myshuno. They're my favorite. However, they are very glitchy. So that's the only thing that I don't like, but this is her little cozy apartment. I did do a speed build on this uh, and I'm really excited to live here. So but did she just wake up and then Honey, you need to figure out what you want to do, okay? We're gonna, okay, she has to go pee, whatever. So she's doing that, let's turn off the music. Oh, she can't go to sleep because she has music playing. That's what it is. So as I said, Celine recently moved into this apartment. She basically went ahead and furnished to the best that she could. A lot of this stuff she got from yard sales because she couldn't really afford that much. She did, however, get some money to help out, but that brings us to her journal that she has. So we have Celine's journal, and this is where she writes her memories, songs, feels, and some other things. So she does have some things written in here already. So she has her first little entry. I lost my mom today. I feel broken lost. I just don't know. And then for those of you who did watch my speed build and we're trying to guess her career path that she's planning to go on, it is in fact being a singer, um, songwriter type of deal. So she's more so of a creative sim in general. She loves to paint. Now she is a songwriter. So she did go ahead and, you know, get some ideas because she's been in her feels and she was starting to write some lyrics down. What the? Ain't no way, ain't no way on the first episode, some person, Miss Belair Groves, is trying to rob me? Are you joking? Are you joking? I literally down this mod because I'm like, oh, let's get some burglars up in here. If you, she it says, this is it. Girl, this ain't it. No, this ain't it. No, 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 no. How do I, uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Fight for stuff? Oh, honey, we are fighting. We are fi Girl, get in there. What? What, she just swipe? Did she swipe my plant? This girl swiped my plant and my couch. No, <laughs> no, 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 girl, we just got that couch. The way the blanket and the pillows are just floating. We just got this couch. <laughs> I want to have a cute start, a cute little start to my new series. Fight her right now. Oh, Celine, so we ain't going to take this girl. Nah, -uh. give me my couch back and my plant. <laughs> Okay, Celine, it's looking like you're losing. I'm a little, I'm a little worried here. Girl, I'm gonna fight until she's. Nah, -uh. a horrible loss. Try again next time, sucker. I'm taking a little more for my trouble. No, 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 no. I want you to know, Miss Blair. We will hunt you down and we will get my My TV It's over, girl. The let's play is done. It's over. She's asleep. <laughs> I'm dead. I downloaded a mod because I'm like, oh, 
Because, you know, when, like, Sims pass out, you know, they pass out their butt up. But then I saw this where they can just, like, pass out how the werewolves pass out. But, girl, I don't know if I want this mod because, like, where the heck did her mouth go? That's her chin. That's not her lips. That's her chin. <laughs> I can't. Wait, she swiped my chin. Oh, Blair, I am. Please tell me. <gasps> You, ooh, ooh, I'm gonna find her. Okay, so she swiped my plant, my TV, my couch, and my desk chair. Girl, ooh, do we already have an enemy? <laughs> it's fine, calm down, we're fine. Things will be okay, all right? We just, you know, um, we just roll with the punches, I guess. I don't even know what I was saying because that just totally threw me off my game. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, they was talking about her career. Her goal again is to be a singer. She, that's what she wants to be. She does a lot of songwriting and so she's, you know, been in her feels lately and she's been writing some lyrics, okay? So I don't know why I'm going in here, but we can go ahead and check her lyrics. So we have song lyric ideas, I don't know. So we have cause perfect, didn't feel so perfect. Trying to fit a square into a circle, dot, 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 question mark. Let the rain fall down and wake my dreams. Let it wash away my sanity. Dot, 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 I wanna scream. Listen, I'm not saying she's a lyrical genius, but she's a lyrical genius. If you guys thought that Hilary Duff wrote that song, no. Celine did. So we're gonna have her go to sleep and I guess, our order of business is one to find Blair. Oh, I, I wonder where she lives. Also, this is our landlord. Apparently we have bad compatibility with her. Uh, her name is Irene. Uh, save game. I sure will. And I could go and just restart this first episode, but one thing about my channel is there's always chaos in some way or the manner, so we might as well keep it in because... <laughs> I can't escape the chaos, essentially, so. She doesn't have a job or anything currently because she's sort of been down in the dumps. Like, she's been trying to get her apartment sorted and, like, feeling homey. So she's been very much antisocial and just alone and doing her thing. So she really hasn't gone out and met people, literally just her landlord. She hasn't been here that long. Again, when it comes to money, which brings me to our other journal entry we have here, it says, new chapter. I found out mom was saving money for years while she was sick, for me. I had no idea. We could have used that money together. I decided to pack up and move to the city because mom's last words to me were, follow your dreams. So that's why I'm here. Hope I can make mom proud. Miss you. Heart. I kind of want to keep up with the journal uh, with some entries here and there. I don't think it's going to be like a everyday type of situation, but I downloaded that mod ages ago. I kind of want to use mods that I've downloaded and have never used, and that's one that I really wanted to dabble in, and I feel like it's kind of a perfect thing for her as well, um, especially with her being in the state that she is in currently. We have some things to get sorted as far as getting a job and all of that stuff. So most likely we're gonna probably start out with a little part-time job. So another way that we can make money is by having her play for tips, which is something that I haven't really done much of is having Sims go out and busk. I know people around Sam Ishino do that. Now she doesn't have a very high skill in guitar She's only level two, so she's still working on developing that. However, singing, she's very much up there. She has, you know, good vocal range. She's still constantly working to improve that. So I'm gonna have her wake up and she's she's slept in. That burglar came in and ruined her night. Well, let me go ahead and get her to make some breakfast. Just don't start a fire and then I'll be happy, okay? We're just gonna ignore this, that it's floating. Actually, maybe I could move them over for now so it's not like it's floating. That works. That way we don't have... <laughs> I can't believe they stole like the two biggest things that make the living room, the TV and the couch. I wonder if I do find them, if I actually get my stuff back or if that's not the case. Because like, I can't call the police because like there is no police in this game, which is very much a, uh, a downer. Um, I still don't understand why we don't have that, but 
it is what it is. So I did get a whole bunch of mods lately. Like I've been on the mod hunt. Pinterest, I will tell you, is probably one of the best places to like look for a bunch of stuff because I just see things one after another after another. So I got a whole bunch of overrides, especially food overrides. That makes the food look a lot better. Hopefully, once she makes this, we'll be able to see the texture of the food. And it looks literally so good compared to the textures that the game gives us. That looks like crisp, clean texture compared to what we usually see. You know what I mean? I don't know. I like it. One other thing that I do want to try is odd jobs because odd jobs came with i believe it was island living but most of them were always related to island living stuff but i did get some mods that hopefully should help out with that so i think we'll go ahead and maybe do an odd job because currently we're sitting at 507 simoleons which is not a why is she sparkly is she okay oh she made food made with a golden egg oh i don't even know why i didn't question that it said golden eggs okay that's a little weird i didn't mean for that we have a few things that we can do here as far as our job we have pool cleaner which is 62 simoleons per hour doctor's appointment 11 simoleons per hour dog walker 10 10 simoleons per hour and then we have decorator which is 125 simoleons per hour but you need painting level six which we don't have so I think we're going to go do pool cleaner, but how do I ever go? Does she just go eventually? Oh, it says it starts at 4 p.m. Okay, so we'll be fine. We can go use the restroom before we do that. Since she's also a painter, I definitely could have her go in and just paint and sell the paintings for money, but I don't want it to be like a thing that she's like constantly just painting. I want it to be like, you know, it takes her a while to do one painting. Okay, she's going off to do her odd job, so... After that, I think we'll go out into the city and meet some people and have her do her thing. So, who is this? Bjorn? I think these are our neighbors. We should probably go meet our neighbors just so that we have some people that we know. Okay, we got 188 simoleons, which is good. So, she did a good job. The pool looks clean, especially the water. Where did you get those pool cleaning skills? Whoa, 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 whoa. It told me I got 188 simoleons, but it says up here I got 250. So who the heck scammed me? Is it the game or the sim? Okay, interesting. It's already 8 p.m. Ain't no way. Let's see where we can go. Let's go to the arcade and karaoke. I didn't even mean to have her live in the arts quarter, but she does, and it's so perfect for her. So actually, is there a busking thing down in this area? Oh, there is. I wonder if we have her come down here. Oh, I have to have the guitar in her inventory. Please tell me you're not about to take my spot. You're about to take my spot. Kabir. Can we fight for this spot? You know what? Let's go talk to him. Get off my property. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Who's this? Petra? I found some simoleons in my couch. I'm going to go make a small purchase now. It, is she just trying to rub in my face that we're poor? Okay. <laughs> From hearing good news, girl, that was not good news for you. Maybe they could have been like, here's some money. Do a friendly introduction. And hopefully get him off the thing so that we can, you know. Why are you just standing there, hen? Let's go. Let's go tell him, you know, it's our time to shine. So we're going to be working towards leveling up our guitar skill. Basically... Becoming the musician that she wants to be. The hey. Samba. Huh. Oh. Excuse. What's his first impression of me? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you guys her traits. I forgot. She's ambitious, creative, and a perfectionist. So she definitely wants to get her music on a certain level before she, like, puts herself fully out there. Oh, yeah. Let me. I wanted to see. First impressions in dreamland he dislikes us this sim appears to be a little bit in their own bubble of imagination a dreamland of sorts this sim seems to be rather pretentious person he thinks we're pretentious i mean i feel like this one her being in her own imagination her bubble i would say that's accurate like her in her own land at the at the moment and then her first impression of him is emotionally expressive now and then it's nice to meet someone who's not afraid to share how they really feel about things okay well 
I mean, we can get to know him. Hello. No, it was gonna be my turn. Okay. Uncary. Jealous. Okay. Hi, G. I think that's how you say their name. Friendly introduction. I'm sorry to say, but it's my turn to busk. I know you guys really just want to play, but like, we really want to try and get ourselves out there and get people to donate some money because I we're really poor right now. Okay. Why do you think we're pretentious? Well, you can only busk at guitar level four. Okay, I guess you guys can have it. What what about her makes her seem pretentious? I don't know how I feel about that, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, in that case, we're just gonna practice our guitar right here. Okay, so you guys can enjoy and tell me some tips. Since actually, Kabir knows how to play the guitar, so he can probably give us some pointers. Oh, who's this? Oh, you are so pretty, Ayla. Let's just do a little introduction. Go chase after her. That could be our soulmate. You don't know. Go. Celine. Also, Jolie is her middle name. It's meant to be spelled J-O-L-I, but for some reason, when I tried to save it, the game was telling me that it's inappropriate, and I thought that meant, like, cute or pretty in French, but I don't know. Celine, if we lose her... Excuse me, ma'am. She's just leaving. Okay, bye, I guess. Hopefully, we'll see you someday soon. <laughs> Look, there's so many tourists here. And you're slipping on what, ma'am? I guess we go back to our apartment. It's already 11 o'clock. Like, we have not done anything <laughs> with our time <laughs> yet. <laughs> How is time going by so fast? Oh, actually, she spots a little box over here. So why don't we go ahead and dig and see what we can find? Um, trying to figure out what's the best way to hunt down the burglar that swiped my stuff. I'll do the poster back here as well. Oh, she got a little snow globe. Now that to our apartment. Let's add this snow globe over here. Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys. So this is a photo of her and her mom when she was a kid. I'm not gonna lie, when I was taking these photos of them, I was like getting emotional for her, like knowing that she's not gonna be a part of this story in the sense that we'll be seeing her and stuff. It was just Celine and her mom the entirety of her life because Celine's mom didn't really have connections to her family or anything of the sort. It was kind of just them against the world. And also another thing to point out is that Celine's father was never in the picture mainly because Celine was the result of a one night fling type of thing. So they don't really know other than that he was in a band, like in a very small band that was performing in Strangerville and they only, were only there for one night and one night only. Her mom has never seen that guy again. They didn't even get each other's names or anything of the sort. It was kind of just like a one and done deal. And so, yeah, and she's never really been curious about her dad that much either because she was very like secure in her life with her mom. Even though it was like a difficult upbringing, you know, living in a trailer park and her mom having to work so much. And when Celine was like 18 to 21-ish, she would spend a lot of her time taking care of her mom. And she ended up missing out a lot on like senior year stuff. And she didn't even end up going to university because she couldn't afford it. So as a result, she decided to take the money that her mom did save up for her and move to the city and kind of just follow her dreams and in hopes that she can do what it is that she wants to do. So that's what we're working towards. Um, her social is very low. It's two o'clock in the morning. We should probably go to bed, but we have no friends at the moment. Um, everybody thinks we're pretentious for some reason. I don't understand why. What makes her pretentious? I literally don't understand. She's really into her book right now, but I'm gonna have her grab a little late night snack in the morning. We should probably get ourselves sorted and look for a job. At least like a part-time thing. It honestly makes sense for her social to be low. So I'm not rushing her into necessarily finding people and having close-knit people in her circle as of yet. I do want her to like go out there and meet people, but I'm not saying like every person we're gonna meet is gonna be her best friend or anything like that. Isabella, Bob Pancake stinks. <laughs> I think I need to change the color of the background of her phone because I literally can't see what they're saying. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's so, so random. Why? I don't know what mod's doing that, but some mod is doing that. 
I think we're just gonna do black. Or, well, yeah, we'll just keep it black, honestly. Or what is this? Yeah, we'll do this one. 7 a.m., time to get up, get going. We can try and look to see if there's any sort of odd job that we can do, but she wants to start, she really wants to find a new career. We're not gonna be finding a, the career, but we'll be finding a part-time one. Oh, there's no odd jobs available. So I guess we result oh. to looking for our little part-time. Barista's five to 7 a.m. I don't know if we want her to do that early it also depends on the payment so barista does make a decent amount for the few hours that she does work we'll have her do retail and this is tuesday to saturdays so she'll have sunday and monday off and that's 6 p.m to 11 p.m and then eventually she might be able to get a second job to get some more money going after she eats i'm gonna have her introduce herself to her neighbors as long as that they're home at least break in okay no hopefully they're nice for some reason when this is placed on top of a dresser i can't have her listen to it which kind of sucks all right are you ready change outfit and let's put on this one Let's go knock on the doors. Knock, knock. New neighbor in town. Oh, <gasps> if, oh my God. If Blair lives in an apartment, we're breaking into her place. Just saying. Hello? I wish that when you knock on the door and you go in, that somebody would greet you at the door. Because in Sims 3, when you would ring the doorbell, the Sim would come up to you and be like, hey, nice to meet you. Okay, well, I'm going to go introduce myself. So this is... Vanja or Vanja Dukes? Hello. Hello? He's a samba. Hey. Oh, see, they have a positive reaction. Thank you. Under wallet cake, range. Oh, but they're yelling at me? Okay, uh, let's let's talk to Bjorn. Bjorn seems nice. Samba flash. No, he thinks we are as well. Uncaring. Okay, maybe this is my like how do I change that? How do I make people not think that we are? Anyways, I'm gonna go visit this apartment. So uh it was great meeting you guys. You know, maybe we can learn to grow on each other. Uh I feel like I have a better chance of being friends with Vanja here. Vanya? Oh, maybe it's Vanya, not Vanja. Girl, who am I? Let me Google real quick. Vanja. Vanya. I'll tell you this, Google's not helping me. I'm getting Vanja and Vanya. I'm gonna say Vanya, because I like the way that sounds. We're gonna just visit this apartment and see who lives here. Maybe Bjorn can learn to love me. Actually, do we have work today or do we have it tomorrow? Oh, we do have work today in seven hours. Okay, we're gonna have our first day of work. Gooselip, Gertkip, Galboos? <gasps> Is this a gaslight gatekeep girl boss? There's no way that's what that's supposed to mean. Is it? Because if that is, that's kind of iconic. Do you live here too? Um, we already met G. Wait, let's say hello. Please don't think I'm pretentious. I promise I'm not. I'm just new here. <laughs> Oops. Girl, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, okay. Let's knock. <gasps> Wait, are you guys married? Is that what it is? Why do my graphics look so crisp? Like, why do these textures look so, like... Seamless. Where are you going? I'm trying to say hello. She's like, I'm trying to be a parent. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so this is your son. <gasps> They're part of a D&D &D club. Is there a reason everybody's negative to me? There has to be a way I can fix this. Oh, we're compatible with Vanya. It feels like love at first sight. Oh, <gasps> Interesting sim. Wait, it doesn't say that they're married. Are you married? You're not. I mean, <laughs> they're not married, but they have three children. That's your daughter. Well, I mean, I don't think that Selene would mind any MILF action. <laughs> Just saying. Um, anyways, so let us go outside and practice our guitar. It was great meeting you. I do have to go out and practice a bit uh, because... You know, I want to develop the skill so I can make money with tips. So we're gonna head out here. Oh my God, there's a bunch of Sims. There's protests going on. Can we join the protest? 
Yes, give us money. <gasps> Is that Ayla? Suddenly, we need to go to this protest. Suddenly, suddenly. Okay, not the the wall blocking us. Watch Ayla be like, mm, I'm gone again. <laughs> Oh my god, Ayla, it's so crazy that you're here too. Oh my god, hey. Shut up, is that... Shut up. Is that Crush? Maybe she's playing hard to get. Not me already having my sim, like, fall in love. We're relaxing. <gasps> she is crushing on us. I mean, hey, how's it going? Oh my god, unknown caller. Man, we're so famous. Jeez, people are just calling us up left and right. Where did, who leaked our phone number? Who? We just moved here. Hey, mind if I crash at your place for a few days? If you like the floor, sure, because we don't have a couch anymore. <laughs> Why'd you be... Shoot, I forgot her name. Blair? Blake? Oh my god, what was the girl who stole our stuff? I forgot. Do I just say okay? Honestly, we can charge them money for staying. Is someone gonna show up? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Maybe it's just like a little thing. Discuss personal growth journey. It is a little loud over here. Oh, I can join the protest. Listen, maybe we'll have to chat a little bit later on. We could hang out and meet somewhere. But I do want to join the protest because I too want money. Give us money now. Oh my God, joining the city, protesting. Yeah, she's a protester, your honor. <laughs> we want money and we want it now. Right, guys? You want money? We want it now? Oh, uh, Kabir. Hey, Celine, I'm having a little party at my house stand around 7.30 p.m. Do you think you might be able to come? <gasps> Does that want to have work? Oh. Maybe we can come after work. Okay, it was amazing joining your protest, but listen, it's a little loud for my ears. <laughs> I will say, I can't even hear a thing. <laughs> Oh, let me, let's, you know what? Let's introduce ourselves to everybody at this protest. We need friends. Okay. Hello, guys. She's new here. Friendly introduction. I love how it's all women. Oh my god, they're probably fighting for equal pay. As you should. As you freaking should. Um, Angela, is there a reason you have uh, sunscreen? I mean, I get it. She's fair skinned. She needs to protect against the sun. Oh no. Uh huh. I've called to inform you that your great great grand second once removed. Zero. Yeah, I already know that spiel. Well, we just made 2,500 simoleons. Come on, money. All right, I love how it's so calm right now. She's been a social butterfly recently. It feels good to be outgoing and socializing with others. I don't know if I would say she's outgoing. I wouldn't give her new, that per new personality trait. <gasps> she has another crush? Self-discovery trait wow. moment. She didn't feel like it was the right fit for her at this time. Exactly. That's okay. She might discover a new one in the future. Exactly. I'm glad that you understand me. Okay, who was it that, sh that she had a crush on? Was it Tiffany? Oh, it was Tiffany. Okay. Okay. Who else? Who else? Dreamland. Very much accurate. Really think we're interesting. However... Celine feels that Elliot is untrustworthy. Celine just met Elliot and yet cannot shake the impression that they are up to no good. Better keep both eyes open. Oh, I'm loving our little roster here of Sims. Well, if you guys want to listen to me play guitar, uh, I'm currently working on developing my skills. So if you guys want to listen, uh, feel free. I guess we can practice for the time being before we have to head out to work. <gasps> Blair! Blair! Oh my god, it's Blair. Oh my god, it's Blair. Girl! Get over here right now. Oh, honey, you are getting your pay back. Go, 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 go. 
Why are you, why can't I have them stop? Usually, what if I reset them? You thought I wouldn't find you, Blair? Well, I found you. She sent me walks Shut around in my face. area. Panka. Vimpa Skiba. Ooh. Uh-huh. Mm-mm. I am gonna find where you live. Listen, apologize. We are never apologizing to you. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's crazy. Can we follow her? I'm about to follow her and see where she lives. She's like, actually, I got better things to do is practicing my guitar. <laughs> I mean, true. She's going this way. So where do you live, Blair? Imagine she doesn't even have a house. Residence? Oh, she lives in Brychester now, does she? Dark wing house. Okay. Okay. I'll keep that. I'll keep that noted. Okay. Let's go home. Oh my god, how do we not write about her being robbed in her journal? Oh wait, this isn't even our house. Hold on. Now we're going home. Let's document this. I don't know how I didn't do this already. Oh. It's gonna be this for sure. I got robbed. I wish they would actually go and write in that journal. Uh ah, Glenna Hosey. Uh-huh. Ain't no way you're staying in my house. You're paying. You're literally paying. Just saying, you're my stay over guest. Anyways, so this is our journal entry. I got robbed. I went to bed and then all of a sudden I heard my door open and there was a burglar inside my apartment. They stole my couch, TV, desk chair, and my cute little plant that I just got. I tried to fight them for my stuff back, but they beat my ass and they ran off. Thankfully, they dropped their ID and now I'm after Blair. Ugh, I just finished furnishing it too. It's time to hit the gym because I'm coming for them. <laughs> you guys like my acting? You better say yes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyways, we're gonna be filling this journal up. I don't know how I feel about you staying over our house. Um, cause you're literally our neighbor. Uh, well, I have work, so you enjoy your time, I guess. I got her work outfit. Oh my god, Celine met some. Mo Excuse me? Is that B you? And why is that not Celine in there with you? Hello? Oh, is this why you came to stay with us? Because your mom is doing some dirty things in there? Honey, I totally understand that you're here now. Because your mother is freaking making noise how do i tell them to stop let's knock politely not her dancing to the music she's like "Ooh, my mom's bringing it down in there <laughs> girl <laughs> not that excuse me i just came home from a late night at work and you're causing a ruckus oh you is that you what are you doing looking like that out here? Also, hey. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, I know. She is really attractive. I don't know what to say. Oh, oh. girl, girl, girl. Let's not do that because I came home from a late night at work. Your daughter's literally in my apartment because you're causing a ruckus in there. There's a reason she's here. Been woohooing all day and all night, girl. She said, I'm gonna start a little painting. She got inspired. <laughs> Anyways, we should probably head to bed in a bit. I think tomorrow we'll be on the hunt for Miss Blair. I'm not gonna let it go. Should I get a sleeping bag for her? No, listen, she came to my place. She can live with the conditions that are here. She can sleep on the floor. <laughs> Honey, let's not do the painting. Let's go have a nice little shower. I'm sorry. Selena's relishing every brush stroke. She sh yes, she likes painting. Are you knocking on my door now? Oh god, they're probably mad that I'm playing music. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we're literally getting yelled at. Can you kindly keep the noise down? I can hear you through the drywall, please. Yeah. I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off. What did you make? Chicken nuggets. And none for me? It's too noisy for Celine to sleep right now. In what world is it too noisy? Oh, guys, is there a problem, guys? Good night, everybody. You can sleep on the stool, you know, put them together. Your head could be here, legs here. You can figure it out. Clearly you are a terrible, in inconsiderate neighbor. You just, 
made a big mistake. I will remember that. Is my music not off? I'm sorry, Bjorn. <laughs> Something's wrong with you. I'm gonna tell you that. Because we're being respectful. What music are you listening to right now? She must have her AirPods in or something. <laughs> I don't know. How long is she staying? Do I know this? Do I know how long? Okay, she's staying until tomorrow. We should stay until Monday. She's gotta go. Um, oh, Saturday's holiday is neighborhood brawl. That's perfect. Gotta be someone up today. Are you waiting for us? She's like, the way I thought that Celine would get the hint that I'm trying to get with her, um, and she didn't take it. Like, I'm clearly standing here waiting for her. Listen, gotta drop a bigger hint, I guess. <laughs> She's just waiting here in her towel. Drop the towel and then it's another story. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <gasps> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love how, like, the lighting in here is so... You just ruined it. You just ruined it. I was gonna say, I love how the lighting feels. And then you just come in here, act like it's your place. Anyway, but like, I love it. Oh, like the city through the window. Can you stop? This is what happens when you're a good neighbor. What the heck is that? What the heck? Bruh. <laughs> This is where this goes? It doesn't just magically appear. It, it, go, it drops from the sky? Wait, that's crazy. Oh, there's a plane. Y'all thought we would have never seen this. Oh, honey, I've seen it. I've seen it now. What in the world? I had no idea. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, wait, this is such a vibe. Why is it that when I, as soon as I press tab, the shadows just disappear? Today is the day we fight. But first, gotta shave these legs. Gotta be as agile as if we're in the water. What the heck is that? Why is there a little square? Oh! Stop, stop, stop. Why can't, my pause button doesn't always work. Oh, now, oh, now you're being modest. Okay, the way you're just entering our apart- I didn't even invite her to say- I heard my daughter's here. <laughs> Hello? Oh, you're just here to read a book? We do have a good selection of reads. Um, glad that you're interested. If you're a reader, I'm a reader. I mean, we already are a reader. She does love to read, so. Not her holding this notebook. I forgot I did this for a pose. And it's still in here. I don't know. I forgot to delete it. <laughs> Maybe she wants to go out for breakfast. I mean, if you're paying. Actually, we're kind of we kind of have money now, so we could do that. Do we hire a hitman to kill Blair? Because <laughs> I'm sort of feeling like if I can't do the job, someone will have to. Girl, there's no looking in. She's trying to sneak some peeks in. Where can we go out to eat? Surely there's a spot. I don't know if there's a breakfast place. Oh, there's a cafe. We can go to the laundromat cafe and yoga. Let's go here. Okay, let's see. What can we get here? Oh, there's not even a barista here. Oh, you are the barista. Okay. For here, let's get ourselves a little croissant. Panka. What would you like? Is there anything you want? Maybe we just get her a coffee. Oh, she's ordering for herself. Okay. Oh, this is a cute little table. Hmm. Flurba. Who are you talking to? Who's this? Who is this? Victor? You look so different. That doesn't even look like Victor to me. That's a whole new man. Well, we already ate our breakfast. But we can still chat. We can talk. Judith? Oh, <gasps> Shannon Graves. Wait, isn't Blair's name, last name Graves? Oh, wait, Groves? Graves. God dang it, I was gonna say, I found her, I found her mother. <laughs> Guess not, okay. Anyways, sit down, please. We can compliment her. 
Heartfelt hey. compliment. Uh, oh, yeah. Dar boy. Next guy. I do have some uh, other things planned uh, though, so uh, I will be going. Uh, um, it was goodness. good to have a little breakfast Warm chat up. with you. Oh, uh, your daughter is doing Steve. great. Oh, uh, she. Did stay at our place. However, I don't think she got any sleep. I don't have a bed or anything or a couch. Uh, I don't know if you know that, but someone did rob me recently, so <laughs> gotta go get that. Oh, look, it's a uh, Kabir. Sorry, I didn't get to go to your party. Um, you know, I I did have a job that I was going to, so there is that. But I think she ordered a coffee. Well, we're not gonna dip out if you're for paying, so. Queen. Honestly, we Queen. might head to the gym. Pump some iron before we go beat Blair's butt. Oh yeah, also, to answer the question in case anybody is wondering, I am playing in the Rapboy Sims save file. And this is, I think, the 2.0 version. However, some of the buildings, like this one, I'm pretty sure I put in myself. Well, we're gonna go, so it was great chatting with you guys. But we have some things to do. I don't know how much the gym membership costs, but it costs something. She's already getting hungry. There's no way. We just ate a croissant, girl. What the? Got our gym gear ready. Uh, let's head upstairs because I do have these things. Uh, my friend was showing me this mod back when they were playing. I've been prepping this Let's Play since January, but I finally have gotten to the point where I can actually play now. Um, also, prepping the first episode, I spent... I, from 9 until 4 p.m., I think, I was getting this first episode sorted. Oh, it's G. Hey, Celine. We're having a cookout at my house at 3 p.m. I'd love to have you over. Is it you that would love to have me over or is it your mom? Let's, let's be honest here. But sure. Isn't she staying over at her house still? I don't know. My girl's working out. Oh, someone's protesting downstairs. This is so cool, and the animations feel so seamless, even. Like, I love it. I don't know if I already said, but it's the Flow Fit mod, I think. Let's see if we can head over to Brightchester. Now, in my mind, Brightchester is really far away. But the thing is, for this scenario, we're gonna head there, because I usually like staying immersed in one area. But we got robbed. So, my girl's taking her train. I should get the mod where um, traveling to places isn't free. But, I'm sorry. Where is she? Where does she live? It says Darkwing House Brightchester. I can barely even read what it says, but I wish this text was also white or like a different color because it like blends in with the dark. But I like having the dark UI because it's so much better on my eyes. That doesn't even exist. I don't know what to say. It doesn't exist. Bruh. I don't know what to do. Maybe we won't be fighting Blair today. Although it would be ideal. Oh my god, it's Nina and... Who is this? Oh, it's Lily. Nancy. Nancy, that's what you're wearing, girl. She's really fighting for the cause. Okay. Well, she's... Getting her little snack in. I guess we head home. Because we have a cookout to go to at 3. I'm a little confused. Is this... Oh, hey, Blair. I don't want to do this in the establishment. But... If I must... Like, is there a way I can go to their household? Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's neighborhood brawl day. Like, I think fighting is acceptable. So, we're just gonna do it. All right, get our anger out. Maybe we can win this time. Clearly they hit the gym, um, but we do too now, so. Oh my God. Hello? Celine, if you don't win. Are we winning? Oh no, I think we lost. Oh, wait, wait. <gasps> we won! Now give my stuff back. Hug! Uh, take that take that back. Hug! Absolutely freaking night. 
First fight ever. That must have been a slip up. She probably tripped. And that's what happened. There ain't, there ain't no way these two are hugging. No. Uh huh. Okay. Anyways, we have to go home because we have huh. our little cookout. I guess we're going to. Oh. I wish it would like pop up with an official thing. Like, oh, okay, it's like time to go. Hey, I'm here. I'm back from the gym. Uh -huh. Oh, um, I guess I'm going to your place. I'm here for the cookout. Smurgis. Turub Quink. Kuzip. Levar. Oh, now a bit? No. You and your mom both can't be into me. I mean, you can, but like. Listen. New hot sim came into town and. Oh, she's flirting with me. Xanahoy. I didn't even do that. She's like, Not oh, my mom food. wants you? No, uh, I do. <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Beguiled, those dreamy Ooh. eyes have gotten this sim into quite Fine the flirty tour. state. Turing Is this why you stayed over? She thought we were going to get the hint, but we didn't. Yeah. We so did not. <laughs> oh my god, she's a hot hey, commodity. <laughs> god damn. I'm as flattered as I am, I I I'm really flattered, but I'm a little hungry and... What's, mm. God, God, what, what's happening? <laughs> what's happening? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm hungry. There's no cookout. I just came back from the gym. I'm, you know, it's really nice. It really is sweet. I do also have work. Like, I, there's so much going on. The Roman Cecil's in town, which I can't go to, but okay, listen. I'm really flattered. I'm really flattered. Thanks. <laughs> but I gotta go. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's happening. I'm having too much fun, man. I'm having too much fun right now. We gotta eat, go to work. I was expecting a cookout. Y'all gave me nothing. <laughs> She's starving. Let's do a little garden salad. A little single serving. I do still think that Selena's feeling Miss Ayla. So I think what we'll do is text oh. Ayla. Oh, girl, let's not do that. You have a whole counter over there and you, you're not using it. I don't know. I will text Ayla. <sighs> oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe we should not have her as a stay over guest. Unless oh. things get a little frisky or something. I don't know. <laughs> Who is it now? I know what you did last summer. Yeah, take care of my mother. Who is this? She doesn't have time to eat. She literally does not have... Oh, wait, yeah, she does. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, we have to... We gotta go to work. Alright. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. A lot of social bunny worthy things happened to Celine Jolie today. Do we bother with that? I don't know. Social bunny kind of is annoying at times. I did get a mom that improves it a little bit, but I don't know if I should. We'll think about it later. As of right now, I'm not going to worry about it. I think before we wrap up, I'm going to have her come over here and write her new journal entries because we have had a lot happen. Um... So before we end off the day, I do want to fill that in a little bit. Women. I heard some noise outside the apartment. Turns out a group of women were protesting and I spotted that one girl who caught my eye the other night. I got the courage to say hey. Her name is Ayla. Hard eyes. Also, I think my neighbor has a crush on me. Her daughter came to stay at my place while her mom was getting her freak on. Went out to breakfast with the mom in the AM and then her daughter flirted with me outside the elevator. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> All right, guys, so I think that's it for this episode. Um, yes, my girl, unfortunately, is a smoker. She's trying to break the habit, but it's something that she picked up and is hard to drop. It's time after work, and she needed it, and she's relaxing now. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.